Today, I'm going to show you how to build your first AI chatbot inside of Chatbot Builder. In this video, I'm just going to build the basic web chat chatbot. The reason we want to start in web chat is it makes it super easy to train and test our chatbot before we deploy it to other channels such as Messenger and Instagram, WhatsApp and Google My Business or any of the other ones that we support. So let's get into it. Step one is you're going to go to chatbotbuilder.ai. Now at this point, you probably have already signed up. If not, go ahead and click on get started and you could sign up with a free trial. But otherwise, we're going to go to login. We're going to click on web chat. Always start with web chat. Always. We're going to name our chatbot and click continue. All right. Welcome to Rolling Dough Pizza Truck. We are now fully connected and you already have OpenAI's GPT 3.5 Turbo. So let's go make this baby smart on our company. You're going to go to settings. Once you're in the general tab here, we're going to make a couple updates. Let's go ahead and set our country. Our default language for me is English. My account time zone is wherever you are when you create this. But if you need to change that, you can do it here. Our brand color. Go ahead and change that kind of brand color, I guess. And before we do anything else, hit save because I always forget that. Let's change our logo real quick. Just like to make it nice and clean. All right, so there's our logo, click save. Now our next step is to go over to integrations, go to open AI, click on edit right here, open AI edit. And this is where you are going to put your knowledge base. Now I'm going to leave some links for you that will help you learn more about building knowledge bases using the proper technique of the five P's, but I already built mine. So we're just going to cut and paste that into this section right here. So let me grab that and paste. All right, and then the functions we're gonna talk about in another video, so I don't want you to worry about it right now. Just know that the function here, connect user to human, is automatically already set up for you, and that way you know that you are in safe hands so that if someone wants to talk to a human, it's already gonna transfer them. Click continue. Now, if you go over to your flows over here, this is where you're going to do all of your building, but you'll notice that we've made it very easy for you. Your welcome messages are already built out. All you need to do is go and make any updates, but let me show you what it looks like here. This is your welcome message. And the first block is an open AI, basically where we're gonna put a prompt. You're gonna prompt it just like you would chat GPT. So I'm gonna click here. And you could see I'm using Generate Text Advanced. You already get GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is already in your account. You don't have to mess with APIs or anything like that. You have an AI chatbot that's already smart and multilingual, supporting over 50 languages. If it's supported in ChatGPT, it's supported here. And this is where your prompt is. You can see it's already built out to basically welcome people based off your account name. We don't have to make any changes. The only change I usually make here is I just put in a tone of voice. Then the next thing for you to understand is the user message. This is the last input that the user is putting in. So if the user puts something specific in there, this way the AI can respond to that. And then this is very important. What are we saving the AI's response to? So the AI is gonna analyze it, it's gonna take the prompt, and then it's gonna shoot out some text. But where are we saving that text for it to respond? And in this case, it is AI welcome message. Do not worry about anything else, click continue. Now this next box here is where our actual text is going to sit. So whatever we put here, AI welcome message, whatever this cuff is, is the same as what we put in where we were saving the response from the AI. Because essentially this box is responding to our user or welcoming them in the chat widget. So I'm good there. I'm going to hit publish. I'm all set. Now let's preview this. All right, it says, well, hello there. Welcome to Rolling Dough Pizza Truck. How can I assist you today? Whether you're craving a delicious slice of pizza or you want to chat, I'm here to help. Yeah, can you tell me where you're located? Let's send that message. Should say we're a food truck. Hey there in Dallas. Hey there, we are rolling through the streets of Dallas, Texas, spreading pizza joy wherever we go for real-time updates on our current location and schedule. Follow us on social media at Roll, rolling dough pizza truck. So are you ready to chase down some delicious wood fire pizza with a side of fun pizza on the go? Something else I want to show you in this already built demo that we just did right here is that this chatbot is already multilingual and it has voice activation. So let me show you that 
In order to get the mic, we have to go to a special place. So let's go ahead and go to settings. We're gonna go to channels. Go down to the web chat box, because that's what we have built out. Click manage and click add. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. And then you're going to connect it to any one of your messages. We'll just do the welcome message and click save. That's it. Now we're going to grab this link and put in the link here. Down here you can see there's like a little mic. So let's go ahead and talk to our chatbot. Now remember, I have not done anything. This is already built in and it's trained because we gave it our knowledge base. Hey, can you tell me what the kids pizza options are or kids meal options are? Hey there, absolutely. absolutely. I'd be happy, happy to, share to share our kids, kids menu options with you. Here's, Here's what, what we've got for the little ones. One, one cheese, cheese pizza kid size, tomato, tomato sauce, sauce mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. cheese. Price, $6.99. Okay, come on. That is so cool, right? Like it's already built in. You can even change the voices, but this is a built-in feature. Everything you saw me build, that's how I built it. One other thing that you need to know is because we're connected to OpenAI's 3.5 Turbo, we automatically have the same language capabilities as ChatGPT, essentially. So let me show you how that works. All right, so I'm going to paste in what I wrote which is in Spanish. I basically asked what kind of soda products do you offer? And let's see what the response is. It says that we offer Pepsi products. Here are the sodas. So as you can see, it's in the language that that person uses and it supports over 50 languages. It also supports those languages in spoken word, which I would absolutely do for you, but you don't want to hear my Spanish or any other language besides English. And there you have it. You've officially built your first AI chatbot that is super smart, multilingual, and has voice capabilities in no time flat, less than six minutes. Now in the upcoming videos, I'm also going to teach you how to connect Facebook, Instagram, how to play with functions to make your AI chat automation even smarter. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out chatbotbuilder.ai if you are not yet a co-creator with us.